everybody welcome back to about the popcorn thank you for clicking on this video if you guys are new my name is stephanie today we're going to be talking about netflix's new film marriage story cassie you then hand him the envelope i just get nervous can you unserve what do you mean like take it back so marriage story is a rated r it is a drama comedy it is two hours and 17 minutes long and it came out on netflix december the 6th so we follow nicole and charlie who are played by scary johansson and adam driver this movie you guys is absolutely just perfect overall um i'm gonna go ahead and start off the bat that it's definitely going to get it deserves multiple oscar nominations i'll get to my oscar talk towards the end of the review um i'll try to at least it is such a different take on divorce this film who was directed by noah bombback I, I'm pretty sure I botched up the name on that. The, his direction on it was just so great. Also deserves an Oscar nomination. I told you guys I probably was gonna not get to the end of the film about Oscar talk. You can tell just how personal this film was to him. I really don't want to get too much. I always say I don't want to get into it and I always get into it. I'm not gonna give spoilers because you really need to see this film. You really need to embrace it and just kind of get captivated by the beauty that it is nicole and charlie literally just brought me into their world they were just so natural throughout this whole film you guys like i was able to really engage into their relationship or or the end of their relationship and just really get lost in the film and honestly forget that i was watching the movie the beginning is the only time that you actually get a glimpse of their actual relationship of who they were as a couple throughout the film it is about the end of it it is about their divorce and what they're going through and how nasty it gets once you do get the lawyers involved it just grabs you immediately well i mean it grabbed me immediately and then after that you know you see the downfall of the relationship and the movie just does such a great job of giving each of their own stories like they never focuses just on nicole or just on charlie the film also never actually makes you root for one particular one over the other. Ardern is possibly the one that's the most over the top character. It's not as natural, but it worked. It, she is one of the best lawyers, so she is a straight up shark. You know, obviously Charlie ended up having to get a lawyer of his own, and that's when we got uh, Ray Liotto. Uh, I think that's how you say his name. And and another shark who could really go toe and toe with a Laura Dern's character. Charlie does meet up with him, but he's just like way over the top expensive, so unfortunately, can't really use them. And then he ends up having to go with his other um, lawyer, who is played by um, Alan Alda, uh, who plays Bert. You know, at the end of the day, the lawyers are the ones who end up winning throughout the whole divorce deal because they're getting the big buck. Now, there is just one big fight scene in this film. I think if they had incorporated more arguments it may not have been as great but because we did get the one that just really just both these characters just really let everything that they had building up with all these years that they've been together they just let it out and it's possibly the best scene in the whole movie one of the best scenes well possibly no actually i think it might be the best one i didn't cry you guys i mean there at the end i did get a little bit teary but in that particular fight scene i could see a lot of people shedding tears i didn't i was just so in all with the performances you guys that i just i i don't think my actual emotions really processed throughout the whole thing because at the end of it i was just like this right here just proves just how much they deserve these oscar nominations right now him and, and joaquin phoenix are like toe in toe with best actor and I know that this review is kind of like all over the place you guys but i really didn't want to give too much away i really want you to really see this movie and really get lost in it because it is so good it's gonna get compared to kramer versus kramer which because i am a horrible film critic i actually have never seen but i have heard that it's being compared to that a lot it is on one of my to watch things of many to watch movies that I need to see. Yeah, but let's let's get to the to the Oscar talk. Noah, and I'm not even gonna say his last name, definitely deserves an Oscar nomination because he directed the shit out of this film. It also deserves a Best Picture nomination. It is one of my top contenders at this point. But definitely both of these um, actors deserve a Best Actor and Actress nomination for their performances and Marriage Story because they did absolutely phenomenal 
possibly their best performances ever editing score screenplay also deserve a nomination in this we'll get to full on more when i do get my oscar prediction video whenever that's gonna be i don't even know when and i did forget to mention that there's actually two like musical numbers not really musical numbers they're just singing and they were done so great honestly charlie's was way better it was more sentimental than nicole's the Scarlet has this really like long, I don't know, maybe like five, eight minute monologue. And it's great, you guys. The way that she moved around the office, which was very nicely choreographed, just happened with such ease. There was a flow to it, you guys. So yeah, that is all I'm gonna say because I'm sure as I keep going, I'll keep saying more things. And like I said, I really didn't want to spoil or give you a lot of things. I really just want you to embrace it and get lost in it. This year, you guys, 2019 is absolutely killing it. Killing it with films. I mean, well, like the last, like, I guess, like three and a half, maybe four months have been killing it with films. The beginning of the year, I think, did not deliver such amazing films. I said that in my best of 2019 so far i was not impressed by what we got at the beginning if you've seen marriage story let me know down below what you guys thought about it and what do you guys think about my oscar predictions about this film like do you agree or do you disagree let me know down below go ahead and shut up now but before you guys take out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time i post something new and until next time i'll be seeing you guys at concessions bye